Hello everyone and welcome to Benjamin to Science. So today I will present you uh, what is an Hazel lens with the software Simayan. Simayan is a software that can uh, simulate the flight of high and through optics because it will res resolve the Laplace equations so it will calculate basically the electrical potential in each point in 3D dimensions. So a quick reminder of the software so here it's where you can load 3D, uh, 3D files of your electrodes that will generate the electrical field. I will show in you in how the video how to convert SLT uh, files into uh, electrodes that can be uh, used in the software. Here I have uh, a Windows editor, uh, a code editor called Sublime Text 2, all the time open because the software can be uh, code with Helua. Most of the time when you you have two folders, you have a general folder and you have a fly folder where you define the particle. But you can do that inside the software also. But if you want to do more complicated stuff, you get you have to get into the Helua coding. So today um, the Hazel lens. So Hazel lens you is used to focus the beam uh, of your ions or to accelerate or decelerate ions. If you have the software, usually it comes from uh, it comes with a lot of examples, so you can already load a folder. Usually it's in PA folder, so you have only the potential array folder, so you have to refine it. The refine button uh, is used to calculate the potentials and the electrical field, but here I, I did it already, so you can already load the workbench. When you do that, you can uh, see in 3D dimensions that you have uh, a Hazel lens. It's basically three circular electrodes. You will apply a potential in the center electrodes and the two others will remain at the same potential. You can increase uh, the quality of the drawing, but uh, that, that, that is not useful for us. And uh, if we go in and that, uh, we will visualize the high ends in that plane. So first you have to fly high ends, you have to define particles and to define particles you have you can uh, code uh, in LUA or you can just click in define particles. Here I have already two groups, one group uh, with of high ends with a mass of 100 and a kinetic energy of 200 and I have a second group that I will put here in red. Uh, to differentiate both of them with also a mass of 100 and a kinetic energy of 200. Of course, we will change that uh, later. So you have different kind of folder here, but I will not go into detail. So you can go OK and then you are already, uh, <coughs> already ready to fly the high end. So if you fly the high end, you can see that uh, we have the tra trajectories in blue and in uh, and in red, and they are focused here. You can already, you can have dots uh, visualization. If you click dots, you can group, you can increase or decrease the quality of the of the of the calculation, and you can rerun. If you rerun, it just it will fly, and when the fly is finished, it will rerun again. So this is not interesting for us for the moment. And we will try to understand what is happening and why my beam is focused. So the first thing is that the center electrode has a higher potential. And the ions that arrive with an energy that uh, they have, they will feel that hill and then they will go downhill and accelerate again. So at the first sight, you, you think that normally the effect of the increase and decrease should cancel, but that's not the case. How? Because, for example, if we zoom in, you can see that it's not straight. You have a shape of the electrical field that is not like just rectangular lines. So I can show you an image that you will that will helps to understand the effect. Uh, is this image? So at the beginning, you have. A shape of the electric field that result if an in an outward force, so the high ends will arrive. They will be driven outward. Then, when they they they, they are slowed down, they feel an inward force, 
and then when they will uh, this, their energy will increase again they feel again an inward force and finally an outward force okay so this is not rectiline but you normally it should cancel out the effect but that's not the case why because at the beginning the ions arrive with 200 of kinetic energy that means that they have a high speed so they will really go rapidly here and they will feel the outward force really really a small amount of time then they will go they will go down the, the vitesse will go down down and down and they will remain a larger time here and they will feel that in inward force stronger than the outward force then they have a reduced energy and reduced speed and they will feel that inward force again here and then they will accelerate quickly and feel really a lower amount of time the outward force so if you sum hold the effect you will be you will have a focusing effect so that was the explanation of course the potential of the center electrode should not be higher than the kinetic energy of the ions if you do that you can change the potential energy if you fast adjust it for the moment the potential of the center electrode is 110 if you change that to 300 so 100 higher than the kinetic energy of the ion at the beginning you fast adjust you fly the ions you see that the ions cannot don't, don't have enough energy to pass the first increase so you can fast adjust again to lower energy like 110 fast adjust and now they are able to pass that uh, hill. One really important question that you may have when you do simulation of uh, ions is that as my, do my mass have an impact or not? Because imagine that you have at the beginning several ions at different mass, but you want still to focus them at the same point. We can try that, uh, for example, in the particles. When you define the particles, let's put the mass of the group to at 300 and not 100. When you push breath OK and you fly, ah, once again, you can see that all the ions are still focused at the same point. Why? Because in electrical field, ions have the same kinetic energy at the beginning. The trajectories are totally independent of the mass. So, but is it the case when you change the kinetic energy? So let's go in particles, define. Uh, let's put back the mass at 100 and just change the kinetic energy to uh, 600. So the red uh, now, they have the same mass, but the red ions uh, have higher kinetic energy. So let's fly the ions. Let's go in X or Y plane can see that the focus for the red ions is bad now at the point where it focuses for the blue ions. Why? It's the same as before. They will be less focused because they will feel the inward force less than the blue ions. So that's why they are less focused. You can see that if you now uh, define particle, reduce the kinetic energy of the group 2 to, I don't know, I don't know. It should be above the potential of the electrodes, so let's try 140. You fly the ions, you can see that now the focus of uh, the red ions happens to be before the focus of the blue ions. So that's it for the Hansen lens. So uh, I hope that you understand how it works. Uh, it was, I think it's quite a good example to start with a semions, uh, with the basics of semions and understand how the PE uh, visualize the electric fields. So it's really like, you can be visualize, visualize it like a golf field. So that's quite easy. So I hope that I will have the time to make other videos because uh, semions is a really nice program with uh, a lot of possibilities. You can really code timings, you can switch the electrodes, you can uh, rerun, you can calculate, uh, you can record actually uh, data.
For example, if you go in data recording, you can calculate a lot of data at specific points of my ions. Uh, you can do a lot of things. And I hope that in my other videos, if I do, then I will explain that. So thank you and uh, enjoy optics and science.